Hey guys, Nate Harris here with Stone River Outfitters. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to tie a simple, durable, deadly little candy type bait fish imitation that's proven particularly effective here along our New England seashores, not only for searching out striped bass, but for picking off notoriously fussy Atlantic Benito and for sniping fast moving false albacore too. Generically named, for lack of a better title, as the Easy Body Silverside Spearing, let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin with a high quality, short length stout wire wide gape stainless steel salt water hook sizes 2 watt through 2. What we're using today is Mustad Signature Series C68S in a great size 1, and the thread we're using is Danville's 140 Denier Flymaster Plus color white. We'll start the easy silver side like we do all of our flies with the standard jam knot placed comfortably behind the hook eye, and naturally once snug, we'll go ahead and rid ourselves of the excess with a quick tug. Next, to create our underwing, we'll grab in hand a nice high quality patch of select white craft fur and we'll snip from it a nice long sparse pencil width bunch. We'll then take a moment to rid the bunch's base of its short fuzzy waist. And we'll also perform a quick coarse hand stacking too to help even up the tips a bit. Then, with the craft fur neatly prepared, we'll take a moment for proportion's sake to measure our wing so that it equals about two to two and a half times the length of the hook shank. Once satisfied, we'll transfer the bunch to our offhand and go ahead and trim away just forward of our pinch the excess forward ends. Once trimmed, we'll then mount the wing firmly on the hook shank's top, forward towards but not crowding our hook eye, using a few well-placed, carefully controlled, tight-drawn thread wraps. Next, to create our top colored wing, we'll grab in hand another nice high quality patch of olive dyed craft fur, and we'll snip from it another sparse, long, pencil width bunch. After preparing it like we did the white, by quickly cleaning its base of the short fuzzy waist and roughly evening the tips a bit, we'll again take a moment to proportion this wing too, ensuring it measures a touch longer than the first, say three or so times the length of our hook shank. Another quick transfer to our offhand followed by a neat pre-trimming of the excess forward ends. And once snipped, we'll then of course go ahead and mount our olive wing firmly in place, immediately above and just forward of the white using a few more well-placed, snug-drawn thread wraps. Next, to give our fly a realistic looking lateral line, we'll grab in hand a package of nice, bright, pearly silver flash boot and after snipping from the hank, two or three nice long full length strands, we'll go ahead and bend those strands, pinched equally around our fly tying thread, and then, using our bobbin as a guide, we'll smoothly glide the pinched flash neatly up and into position just a short distance behind our hook eye. A quick division of the flash, equally and evenly along both the near and far sides of the hook shank, followed by a few well placed thread wraps to help secure our lateral line in place. And once satisfied, we'll then take a moment to install, forward towards, but not crowding our hook eye, a nice, neat, well-placed whip finish. Of course, once snug, we'll then go ahead and trim our thread away cleanly at its base with a close, careful snip from our scissors. Next, to create the Easy Silver Side's durable round body, we'll grab in hand a package of medium-sized, natural-colored Easy Body tubing and we'll snip from the coil's length a nice, clean cut, two or three inch long tubular section. Then, using a lighter, we'll take a moment to carefully cauterize one end of our easy body section by gently licking the tubing's end a few times with the lighter's flame. A quick tap or two of the melted end with wet fingertip to help fuse the fibers neatly together. And we've now created a nice, hollow, round, and most importantly, fray proof butt. Next, we'll take a moment to give the freshly cauterized, fray-proof butt end of our Easy Body section a nice, short, clean-cut, linear, half-inch belly snip with our scissors. Then, with the cauterized butt end facing rearward and the short, fresh-cut belly slip facing down, we'll then go ahead and push our Easy Body tubing smoothly onto the hook shank, ensuring as we go to carefully guide the short, bottom side belly slit neatly around then past the hook's dropping bend.
Next, with the body tubing happily positioned, we'll again grab in hand our bobbin still loaded with our trusty white Danville's thread. And with a firm grasp over the thread's long tag end, we'll go ahead and install, just behind our hook eye, a nice, neat, notably tight drawn jam knot. A quick close trim of the excess tag end, of course, once snug. And we'll then install, immediately on top of that jam knot, a nice, tight, well-controlled, carefully placed whip finish. Brief snug pull, of course, with our bobbin to ensure our whip knot holds, and naturally, once taut, we'll then go ahead and trim away our thread closely at its base with another quick clip. Once freed, we'll now take a moment to briefly trim back the forward excess protruding ends of our easy body tubing using a few quick, well placed scissor steps made carefully around the hook eye. With the lion's share of excess now gone, We'll now go ahead and melt back any remaining rough trimmed ends with a brief lick or two with our lighter's hot flame. A little last minute taming of the craft fur wing with wet fingers and a bit of forceful pinching of the tubing too if need be. And then, once satisfied with our appearance, we'll next go ahead and give our fly a final touch of realism by adding a pair of appropriately sized 8 inch flat prismatic or 3D molded epoxy eyes placed neatly and evenly on both the near and far sides of our white thread head. Next, with our body and eyes now perfectly positioned, we're at last ready to give our fly a handsome, durable, final polished finish. To do so, we'll grab in hand our trusty bottle of Liquid Fusion's versatile clear urethane-based crafter's glue, and we'll apply directly from the nozzle a nice liberal bead of resin drawn quickly and continuously across the body's top, side, and bottom. Remembering, of course, as we go, to tag not only the near side of our tubing, but the Easy Body's far side belly and top as well. Once laid, we'll swiftly grab in hand our heavy bodkin, and moving quickly, but with care, we'll then begin dragging our liquid fusion, smoothly and evenly, around the Easy Body's entire circumference, ensuring as we work, that we distribute our resin methodically, from the tubing's cauterized butt end, forward to the fly's head, and naturally from head back to butt, in smooth, even, level drug fashion. A bit of final attention paid to any overly saturated areas. And after a minute or two more spent curing in our vice jaws, our fly is at long last complete. Well friends, there we have it. The Easy Body Silver Side Spearing Tight Start to Finish. This simple, durable, realistic candy style bait fish imitation is definitely one you'll want to add to your saltwater fly box for the season ahead. A reliably consistent, and proven producer is eagerly eaten with equal gusto by striped bass, bluefish, bonito, and false albacore alike. If you've not yet given tying or fishing the Easy Body Silver Side Spearing a try, trust me, you should. Hey gang, thanks again for tuning in today. Do please remember to visit us on the web for all your fly fishing and fly tying needs, and as always, snug wraps and tight lines to all.